and he's talking about some of the current uh, political and economic situations and conditions on the uh, continent of Africa. And Dr. Madhu, as uh, I might say, that uh, the things are really looking up good and looking up for uh, uh, Africa, especially when we think about the Africa <coughs> that we've talked about on this show over the last eight or 10 years. And so let's talk about some of the economies mm -hmm. and some of the other things that you, you think are important. Well, like I've said, uh, the economies are improving. And, and because the economies are improving, one might ask, what's the reason? Mm -hmm. You know, why have you been so backwards mm -hmm. previously? One of the reasons is because of the process of democratization. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the winds of change mm -hmm. are blowing in Africa now. Uh, before, prior to this time, most elections in Africa are won by the presidents mm -hmm. with 99.9%, mm -hmm. as if nobody <coughs> hates them, mm -hmm. hates them in the whole country. Mm -hmm. I remember a long time ago, Hufwe Buanyi in the Ivory Coast. Yeah, he won an election with 99.9%. .9%. So when they, when they announced it on the radio, he wasn't satisfied. He said, no, they should change it to 100%. 100 so mm -hmm. nobody has, a, has any idea mm -hmm. that somebody hates Hufwe Buanyi in the mm -hmm. Ivory Coast. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so most of them were winning 99.9% .9 and nobody said anything. Mm -hmm. Now it has changed. You know, even though we still have people who manipulate, manipulate the elections, mm -hmm. but still there are some, you know, elements mm -hmm. that make sure that those elections are not thoroughly read. Mm -hmm. This year there has been about eight, nine elections in Africa mm -hmm. as a whole. Previously, before, mm -hmm. you hardly had, had any, because mm -hmm. the, the whole country <coughs> was governed Just by the, the military. Just the fact of having an election means the, something. It means, means a whole lot, because mm -hmm. it gives people the power to decide who governs them, mm -hmm. not by somebody who shot themselves into, into mm -hmm. power mm -hmm. by the barrel of the gun. Mm -hmm. In Rwanda, you know, they had an election this year mm -hmm. which returned uh, President Kagame to, to power. However, the election was not considered mm -hmm. fair, mm -hmm. free and fair. Mm -hmm. uh, the main opposition leader, Ms. Agnes Ngabare, mm -hmm. who came in to run, was detained mm -hmm. and, and not allowed to run against Kagame. Mm -hmm. The main reason really is that she is Hutu. Mm -hmm. Now, in Rwanda, Hutus are still the predominant population. Mm -hmm. They are about 85% of the population. Kagame is Tusi. Mm -hmm. So if he had allowed a Hutu to run, mm -hmm. he would have lost in any fair, free and fair election mm -hmm. because the majority of the Hutus would have voted mm -hmm. for, the for, mm -hmm. for the Hutu you know, mm -hmm. uh, candidate. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in most places in Africa, people vote you know, with their tribe, uh -huh. if, if necessary. Mm -hmm. So generally, Kagame would have lost, and he didn't want that to happen. Mm -hmm. So he won anyway, you know, in the election. Mm -hmm. In Burundi, you have President Nkurunziza, who was running for another term of office. Uh, all his opponents withdrew, mm -hmm. you know, so he ran by himself because they were scared uh, that they would be killed. Mm -hmm. They were intimidated. So Nkurunziza was returned, you know, to power, mm -hmm. you know, unopposed. In Tanzania, you know, a few days ago, a week ago, uh, President Kitwete, you know, was re-elected, you know, for a second term in office. The election was free, clean, and fair. Mm -hmm. He won by 67.3%. Mm -hmm. His party, you know, was a party founded by President Nyerere, mm -hmm. you know, the Chama Chama Pinduzi. Mm -hmm. It has been in power since independence. Mm -hmm. you know, so Kitwete was returned, you know, to power uh, as president. Mm -hmm. In Ivory Coast, that's where you have the most interesting election in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, the first runoff was the first ballot were cast on the 31st. Mm -hmm. uh, three candidates, you know, emerged. You know, you have uh, the current president, Laurent Babo. Mm -hmm. Then you have Alassane uh, Ekwatara, mm -hmm. who was a former vice president of the World Bank, mm -hmm. and former president Kunan Bedier. Mm -hmm. So out of three of them, two mm -hmm. will have a runoff mm -hmm. on November 30th. Mm -hmm. Laurent Babo, who is the president, and Alassane Ekwatara. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing is that in the last elections, about eight years ago, mm -hmm. the guy who ran third this time was President Kunan mm -hmm. He was challenged by Kwatara. But guess what? He said, oh, no, 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 Kwatara is not a citizen of Ivory Coast and he can't run for election. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, but Kwatara was president, prime minister mm -hmm. under Hufwe Buani mm -hmm. for at least three years. And now he, can, he can't run for exactly. election. Now he's not a citizen <laughs> of the country, so he can't run. Mm -hmm. Okay? That action by Bedie precipitated the current crisis in Ivory Coast because mm -hmm. what happened was Watara is from the north, northern mm -hmm. part of the country. And then the citizens 
of Ivory Coast who come from the north mm -hmm. have had grievances that they were being discriminated against. Mm -hmm. So when Quatara was disallowed, you know, from running, mm -hmm. now the army came in over to Bedier. Mm -hmm. What happened a few years later, then the, the guy from the north re rebelled, you know, mm -hmm. and Ivory Coast is split into two today. And today, just because of that? It's just because mm -hmm. of that, you know, mistake mm -hmm. Bedier made. Mm -hmm. You see, Hufu Banyi spent all these years building a prosperous country. Mm -hmm. And Bedia destroyed it in a few months mm -hmm. just to stay in power by trying to dis disenfranchise Quatara. Mm -hmm. So ironically now, Quatara is running against Gbagbo, mm -hmm. you know, for the presidency. Mm -hmm. So November 30th will be crucial. Most observers have to say two things will happen. Mm -hmm. if, if Quatara loses, there might be riots. The mm -hmm. North will not believe he, he, he lost fairly. Mm -hmm. Now the country might stay divided. They, mm -hmm. they, the, those controlling might not, you know, want mm -hmm. to have reintegration. Mm -hmm. If Gbagbo loses, they are saying that the army will not allow Quatara to take power. Mm -hmm. So it will be interesting to see what happens on November 30th. Mm -hmm. Guinea has some problems now. The elections that were held, you know, a, 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 few, a, few, a few days ago, a week ago, mm -hmm. was won by a guy called Alpha Conde. Mm -hmm. Now, the supporters of the opposition, Mm -hmm. uh, of the position leader, Mr. Diallo, right. refused to accept the elections <laughs> as free and fair. Mm -hmm. So now there are rioting and demonstrations in Guinea, and the Guinea, army, mm -hmm. army has declared a state of emergency, mm -hmm. you know, in the country because of it. Mm -hmm. This is the first democratic elections in Guinea's history mm -hmm. since independence, mm -hmm. because the first president, Sekoture, was a dictator, never allowed any elections. Mm -hmm. When he died, mm -hmm. General Lansana Conte took over mm -hmm. and, you know, imposed a dictatorship too, no elections. When Conte died a few days later, a lieutenant took over power. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that, that's how they came to, you know. So an election now. Exactly, mm -hmm. to, to where they are now. Mm -hmm. So this election is very crucial for the country, you know. But now the people refuse to accept the person who was elected. Mm -hmm. And it, the voting was based on ethnicity. Mm -hmm. The guy who won comes from an ethnic group called the Malinke. The one who lost comes from a mm. thing called, called the Pio. Mm. And the Pio complained they've never been president mm. of Guinea mm. before. And mm. they want their own person to be president. Uh, Doc, Dr. Yeah. Du, uh, we're getting ready for this second uh, commercial break, and then we'll come back and we'll uh, delve deeper into uh, this uh, political intrigue in a real sense that uh, somehow it's leaving Africa rather than staying around. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. The topic is current for...